Discrimination. He's got money, you don't. Okay. I got a question. Okay. I, I was actually waiting for it because I knew. I'm I not going to let you rush me out of here today. Well, okay. was, did I rush you out of here last time? Yes. Wait, wait. What's a rush? Because usually you ask questions for like 20 minutes. No, that's that's a lie. Is, is, is that's a lie. I'm not in the mood today. Is so less be than, nice. Is less than 20 minutes a rush? Huh? It wasn't 20 minutes. What's the time limit? What, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15? We're being videotaped, so be nice. Okay. Are you, How you doing? Are you videotaping me right good. now? I have to. Fine. I'm in a public place. Yeah, that's going to work. All right, Leslie, what's your question? I got to wait for my phone to boot up so you can take care of this guy. Okay. All right. So you're just standing there. Is that all right with you? Excuse me? Is that all right? Why are you asking me that? Understand? Understand? Off? Or nah. I don't know. What's the big question? I gotta wait until this little formal jig boots up. Hey, let me ask you a question. In fact, I'm gonna ask you about five. You Check usually, it out. You usually ask me more than that. I see. See this tape recorder right here? Yes. This is a physical, tangible object. So is this phone. Okay? So this tape recorder and this phone, whenever there's evidence on it, okay, especially like text messages of people that you do not know that have your phone number, sending you threats, harassment, okay, uh, these can be denied as being as seen. So what I'm going to do right now is show you that I'm receiving these and see what you have to say about it and possibly where you can direct me concerning it. Um, let me get my glasses on. Are you going to be a few minutes? Because i got to use a little uh, facilities. Are you coming back? Yeah, I'll be back in a couple minutes. So that way you can get everything set up and ready to go. Are you videotaping me, sir? No. Am I videotaping you? Absolutely. That's a question. Would you like me to? Absolutely. What happened to the Citizens Review Board? Yeah. I believe they still have it. Uh, so where's it at? Um, I have no idea. It might be somewhere upstairs or another office. I'm just a filling down here and I don't work here normally. So. You're a filler, huh? Yep, just a filler. What's up, brother? What's good, man? What's your last Um, no. Oh, okay, okay. So what, Bridget back Monday? Yeah. I'll be back to work on Tuesday. So, I'll be back to my team. <laughs> oh, Chief Zimmerman's down at the headquarters? Yeah, so, was that, that's where that's, that's our offices. What about internal affairs? Is that was is all, that all downtown? All downtown, San Diego. Fourteen one Broadway. HDQ. HDQ. What up, man? Sour apple. Okay. Great watermelon. All right. Great. Great. I heard great. What, what happened around with y'all on vacation? Yeah, he'll be back next week. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Take some time off, huh? Okay. You almost you ready, Leslie? Sure I am. We're ready to ask. Okay. So this is the first bit of information I got for you today. This right here is a tweet. Is this that actually a, a camera? Yeah, please don't touch this. Okay. So let's this right here is a snap screenshot of a tweet that was made by me on December 24, 2014. So you wrote this tweet? Absolutely. I sent it to my Twitter account. Okay. It, so it literally says, you can see the date and time of it. Okay. So it literally says that uh, individuals involved in gang stalking of TTTTT just walked by her HA area and said, gang stalk, why don't you call the cops and get her out of here? Now, 
This snap screenshot clearly shows that this tweet was made and sent on December 25th, 2014 at 9.08 a.m. Okay. Okay. Good. How you doing? Now. Parking administration is moving? Out the door, make a right. Okay. Go to the very end. And Some individuals who I do not know at all in any way, shape, or form That's sent this to my phone on the same date but a later time. Like, okay. like a text message? Yes. Okay. Okay. This is the text message right here. It says, I'm sending the police to your uh, location, okay, for legal lodging. Explain that to the police and social, when you're arrested in social services or something along those lines. Now, what I did was I took a snap screenshot of this tweet or this text message that was sent to my phone, one of many, okay? And then you can see what it says right there. Your location. Okay, so it says that... It's starting to go dark. Yeah, I know, it keeps going dark. It says, I'm sending the police to your location now for legal lodging mm -hmm. and trespassing. Explain that to social services when you get arrested again. Notice the time, 4, 12 p.m. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with phones, but when you get a text message or you send one, you can click on it, press on it, and it will give you the details pertaining to who sent it. So, I did that. Well, it has the phone number right there, doesn't it? Yes, it has a phone number on top of that, too, which you can easily see. Now... So, what I did was, I, I obviously, you just seen, I took a te uh, snap screenshot of it. Yeah. This is the snap screenshot of who sent it, the date it was sent, and the time. Okay. So, this reflects that it was sent at a later time on the same date. Proven that what I heard earlier in the day, because it's identical. What they sent me in the text message is identical to what I heard at that area. Okay. Okay. So, that means I was gang stalked to Rose Canyon. Okay, on that day. Gang stock? Absolutely. What is that? You can look it up on the internet, sir. Oh, so anyways, turn, turn so that right there, right, that right there is just stock. one text message. You're not okay. affiliated with a gang, are you? I, I do not involve myself with anybody at all, especially criminals. Okay. What I do is expose them though. Okay. So, check this out. This is just one of about 28 text messages that I sent, I, that were sent to me. Okay, this is the phone number that's attached to it. I do not know who this person is at all in any way, shape, or form. They're also sending me text messages regurgitating what I'm doing on Twitter. Okay. Uh, I got, they're also sending pornography to my phone, people I do not know. So what I'm going to do briefly while I'm here, and it is going to be brief, is I'm going to show you another one that they sent me. Do you see how they sent me one on three days, two days, be three days before that? December 22nd, 2014, and they're repeating gang stalk, oh my god, crazy, weird, uh, does she really expect to stay at that new hiking location? This was in, I'm not going to say how long I was at that hiking location. Now this is saying gang stalk, so is the just let me blue, finish. Is let this, me, this, is, this, this is, is the one they sent, and this, this is, is my replies okay. to it. They said gang stalk, oh my god, crazy, weird, does she really expect to stay at that new hiking location? So that in part is not only uh, a threat. Uh, but they're also repeating, okay, uh, things that I have documented on numerous audio files, video files, before, way before this was ever sent. Now, do you notice how they say gang stalk, and there's the details right there. Okay. 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 In reference to the phone number that sent this text message. I got at least, they sent me at least 40. Okay. Then not including the pornography. Okay. Um, now... What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to attempt to show you, and I'm, I'm like 99% sure you're going to say you can't make sense of it, but I'm just going to play for the sake of it anyways. Well, I'm, do you hear these two men say gang stalk together, then one says gang stalking? Listen, 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 listen. I want you to listen to this because I'm videotaping your reply right now. Do you, do you hear these men say gang stalk? Let me finish. Do you hear these, do you hear these two men okay. say? Before, before you hit play, listen. Right. The last time you came in here and played me the same video, a video, I don't know if sure it's the same one, mm -hmm. and I listened to it probably twice, and I didn't hear it. You got all mad at me. And you I didn't get me. mad at you. You're saying I got mad at you. No, I didn't get mad at you at all. In fact, everything oh. I said to you in our whole verbal exchange uh, was I, taped, so I can prove that I didn't get mad at you. So let me play this because this, isn't, this audio is in direct. Let me finish. This audio right here, which was caught on November 28, 2013 in La Jolla, okay? You can hear two men yelling gang stalk. One says gang stalking. That same one says gang stalking. I'm going to F you up. Now, so what's this the is the same. Goal here, let me finish. This is the same thing that is being sent to my text, me to my phone by people who I do not know. Why okay. not change your number? Let me finish. Why not change your number? Uh, let, 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 I don't know let, let, if I can, but uh, no, I let, want to finish this, sir. Let's, let's I am. I am no, I know, sir. You, if you just let me finish this and you can talk.
gang is stalking, I'll fuck you up. They even sent me a text message literally regurgitating what was just said on this. And I can prove it. Back in 2013? This happened in 2013 in La Jolla. So we're two years later and now what? I've yeah. been trying to report it ever since. No one will. It's got to be so, a credible threat there. What's that? It has to be yeah, a yeah. Oh, gang of stalking, I'm going to F you up, is not that? What is then? It's freedom of speech. Oh, okay. So, sending me text messages that they're going to kill me. You don't even know who it's from. Where's a, there's a phone number attached to it. What, what's, where's the text message that says they're going to kill you? <laughs> and is this like how you interpret it, or is this actually the words I'm going to kill you right now? Hold on. Right there. Gang stalk, why don't you come and take your stuff? We'll fuck you up. Leslie Williams will be killed. Leslie Williams will be killed. So this person knows you? No at all. No. Well, how, how do they how do they get your number? You gotta ask them. There's a phone number attached to the text message that sent it. And what when was this one? It's on my it's on my phone. All of them are on my phone. Over they sent over thirty of them. Is, is this a screenshot or is this actually a text message? Uh, that's a snap screenshot of it. I still got the text message. Oh no. Can okay. You, can you bring up the date? Yeah. Oh, there's properties there. There's properties there. So, like, the there, is, there is an actual meeting code for that. I don't have it off the top. Let's see if I have it. What's up, man? I'm on the head on just chill, man. How are you? Let's see. Not a day, man. It might be a muni code, not a, not necessarily a, a parking. It might be a, even a parking thing. Let me see. So if you guys come by, you guys can give them a ticket for that. Yeah, you, well, you can't block you can't block off the public street. Okay, yeah, for, I, for, I, I to say park stuff. Okay. You can't I do that. Just like there. parking stalls, you can't block off a parking stall and say for some reason. Okay, here's one right here. This is sent from a different number. We'll kill, look at all that, look at all, look at all that. We'll kill you soon. We'll, we'll kill you, rape you. Now all you gotta do is press on those tweets to see who's, or those text messages to see who sent it, because it'll give you details on the number. Just press on it. It's a public street. What's, what's that area code and from? If worst case scenario, what my area code or the, or the one on theirs? Uh, they're, they, they're using three different numbers. One is a six one nine. The other one appears to be a, either an eight five eight or a two five eight or some some crap. Um, this repeating gang stalk along all my routes as well, being caught on hundreds of audio files. Do you mind if I read the whole text message? Go ahead. What happens if, if there's a fire? And the fire this is a long text message between you guys. Yeah, that's because uh, I kept telling them, quit, 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 quit sending me your text message. They kept doing it. You can't block it. It's a muni code. No, for sure, it's a muni code. What you can do is, is check it out. Yeah, can you hold that up so I can make sure that this is evidence? I want to make sure what you're doing. Everything you I'm, read, I'm reading the, email, the text message you just showed okay. me. Double parking, handicap places, blocking the driveway. And, that, and I know that's a muni code. Who's Thomas Rogers? Thomas Rogers. There's a little reference here to go back to his family or whatever. Oh uh, well, I'm not ready to talk about that. That's just oh, that's that's somebody I used to know in Michigan. Okay. So how did they know that as well? Some kind of like a zoning when it comes to like every house, the driver's considered two spaces for a two car, unless it's a concrete like you made it into a driveway, pulling it up on your. Whose date of birth is July 20th? Uh, don't please don't repeat anything that has to do with the date of birth or social security number because this is being videotaped and I don't want that to be on videotape. So you can show it to me and ask me and I can tell you if it's mine or not. Well, when you come down here and start trying to tell me stuff, I can't just jump through hoops for you, okay? Well, I'm asking you not to disclose personal information with a bunch of people I don't know standing around. I think that's... I'm trying to ask you questions about what's going on. Okay, so all you got to do is ask quietly. Ask, okay. Just ask quietly. Just ask Well, if, if you're over here videotaping it, it's not quiet. I mean, I've seen your YouTube Look, man, account. the video is going to happen, so just, if you want to ask me questions, just ask it. Well, oh, I did, and then you seem to get upset Well, show me which one you're talking about. It's basically legal. Usually when we have, like, a 4th of July and stuff like that, like, at the beach. I'm reading the part where you're... We show up telling him to lick some stuff here. Yeah, well... Cones or they stand there? And then there's big fights. 
So like, wait no. Okay. So there's at least so there's like, at least 45 of those text messages sent to my phone, three separate numbers, along with pornography that's also being sent to my number. Now the individuals that sent the pornography is also leaving comments on my YouTube videos because it's the same exact name. Yeah, if that, if it's a public park, it's first come first serve. Which means I'm being stalked yeah. online. He's gonna be courteous and say, oh, "All right, I, you got a signal on before I did, and I'll let him go." But it's not necessarily a pressure courtesy, but you, yeah. there is, you cannot hold the spot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched our, my, my friend somehow this guy that went to the beach and it was really packed there, and this guy like someone was looking for parking, and then he, like stopped the car and pulled out his, his truck and go ahead, park here, car park. Five bucks. And he's like, what? He's like, I just need my father to have a spot. Ninety-five dollars. Yeah, see, that's all. The dude, the dude in the, that party said, like, nah, I'm good. And he just went and found another party, and then the guy pulled back in. I guess that was like his his hustle. Yeah, but, uh, it I mean, can be, but that's amazing. technically you cannot park. You cannot take a parking space it's free. in a public. Yeah, in a public. A park, parking lot, yeah. public street. I didn't know that. And then, when you, like, if you have your vote or your keys on the street, you have to test your vehicle, too, right? Uh, there's a certain time limit that it goes on there. Uh, I'm not sure what that, like, the park enforcement deals with that. Um, I know we deal with a lot of cars that come in. We tag them. And they have to be moved in 10 per mile within 72 hours. If they're not moving, they so. A 10 per mile is like near the wall. You know, they, yeah, I know about that one. Just enough for that, that tag mark on the road. Right, so, so it looks like it's yeah. moving. That's why you see them going around with the little chop on the tires. Because then they come back later and they look like the chop one. Yeah. Well, you, said, you know, we used to do that back in the day too. But the thing is now, because when it comes down. Alright, and like, you said you already went and tried to file a report somewhere? And the beach I, 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 look, I even came in here and asked to file a report. It was either you or somebody else. Uh, this is the, this is the thing, and I'm just going to flat out say it. On many occasions, I have asked separate San Diego police officers to make a police report that I'm being gang stalked. Yeah. Listen carefully. At these times of these requests, I. Okay, can I interrupt you real quick? Right. Sir. Was this, yeah, yeah, we'll I'm park. looking for uh, uh, Pacific uh, Highway, Veterans Village. We know, no, it's illegal. You can't. What? what Veter up? Veterans Village. Uh, Pacific uh, Highway? Uh, I can tell you where you Pacific Highway is. I don't know where Veterans Village is. Do you have an exact address? 4441. Uh, that's got to be really up far up north if, there, if that actually even exists. Yeah, yeah. Could you could you look at that? It's supposed to be for um, trolley tickets. Um, they threw my tickets out of court. Stand down. You know, ask, 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 ask. I might be able to tell you. Okay. Anyways, on several occasions, I have asked multiple different San Diego police officers, including three days ago, that. I've told them that individuals are getting on all my routes every day and repeating gang stalking, gang stalk, gang stalker, suck my dick, crazy, weird, and a bunch of other vile shit. Yeah. Now, all of these interactions have been tape recorded. Then, people start sending me the same exact thing that I was recording. People who I do not know. So how do you explain that? Because text messages are physical, they're tangible, okay? They can't be denied. Right. So what do you say about that? Well, what I'm saying is the last time you came in here, you were trying to mention something about gang stalking. And like my partner, when he when you mentioned it to him, he seemed clueless about it because that's not a term that I've we've Look. ever heard before. Well, I'm sorry, he asked a question, but you right, let me ahead. finish. Mm -hmm. So he had never heard of gang stalking until you brought it, until you brought it up the last time. I had never heard of it either. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what section you think that that falls under or what that term means because I, we we have almost 30 years between us. And neither, we don't, we've never heard that term other than from you. So you got 30 years on the police force and you're not aware of penal I, codes? I said between us. Okay, so fine, between you. You're not aware of penal codes, civil codes, government codes pertaining to stalking, conspiracy to stalk, harassment, cyber surveillance, cyber stalking, computer phone hacking, how they get my phone number, okay? And sending pornography to my phone. Oh, I, I am not the last thing. I am is stupid. Okay, this right here is flat out evidence that 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 the one that sent me pornography. Okay, let me bring his his little skank. If it's a he, his little skanky ass up. So what I'm let saying me is finish because the, his the, name, his name, mm -hmm. the name of the account that is sending me pornography. I opened it up, took one look, and they sent it to me at least twice. And I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. It was bad. I mean, it was disgusting. That's this one right here. I mean, you can look at that right there. We'll kill you, bitch. 
time to kill you. Okay. You've seen so, him, right? You've seen him, right? Yeah, but you're not letting me finish what I'm well, trying to tell you here. I thought you were done. No, because you interrupted me. Oh, like okay. Now usual. I'm interrupting. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, that's all right. All your because all your statements are being tape recorded. I, I know, Leslie. And every time you come in here, I try to explain something to you, and you want to cut me off, so you don't let me finish. That's explaining. baloney. Come on. You're cutting me off right now. All right, here it is. So, Leslie, what I'm saying to say is, there are other crimes. It. The email address. Okay. This one right here, this is the one that sent me the pornography right here. Now this same, there it is, look at it. All right, now this same one right here where it says Bo U R F U mm -hmm. is also leaving comments on my YouTube channels that are gang stalk. Oh my God. Okay. So what's all that about? Let's well, see. How are these people getting my You keep mentioning gang stalking and we have no... Uh, no clue at all? No. Really? You are the, actually the only person that's ever mentioned Okay, so you've seen evidence that I'm being targeted. Threats, that's a criminal threat to kill me especially using Correct. electronic devices to do so. You've seen the number that was attached to the text message that sent the threat. What are you Correct. gonna do about it? So Correct. So, the, all I'm gonna tell you is, at best you can get a report for probably the uh, 653, like the um, harassing somebody via the phones and stuff like that. So that's not a criminal threat? Well, it's a, it's a threat, it's a misdemeanor. Oh, it's not a felony? For terrorist threats, is completely different than the phone harassing phone calls and stuff like that. I got harassing phone calls too. Sometimes they call, they, so they, were, they were calling me right. like 12 times in a row. I'd hang, I, I, I wouldn't even answer the call. I couldn't even answer the call. My phone's frozen. Okay, right. I'd wait until the phone call kept going through. Mm -hmm. They'd hang up, do it again. Hang up, and do like it said, again. And that's all stuff that's all misdemeanors when it's over your phone and it's, how long ago were most of those messages? Look, Last year? The point being is this. Yeah. The point being is this. I want to report. Okay. I'm going to report on it. Okay. So you're going to report it or where do I got to go? Um, typically they go to the area stations for the reports or... For, or well, I'm homeless, so... Okay. So... So can you report it? Yeah, grab me your ID. I'll take, I'll take a report for you right this minute. So are you going to include the word gang stalking being said in these text messages? I'll use the words gang stalking as you describe it. You've seen the messages that literally says gang stalk, we're going to kill you. Yeah. And like I said, I have no idea what that means. Fine. If that's what you're claiming, fine. I have no reason to lie to you. Like, it, it's not going to enhance or take away from your right, crime. This right here is an expired ID, but you can run the number and you can see I still got a current, uh, that I got a current California one. Okay. All right, so I, can you listen while, while you're doing what you're doing? Because I don't want to, I don't want you to think that I'm interrupting you or misbehaving like you've already accused me of. The point, here's my question. Leslie, how many times what have you come a, in what here? Is open, what is open space laws? Leslie, how many times have you come in here? I don't know, three? I, I heard of really? That. Yes. I had never seen that. This year, maybe. <laughs> All right, so check it out. What is open space laws? How does that work? You need more specific. All right, well, check it out. I can go right now anywhere around here, and, and we all know it, because you said you've been on the job how long? 15 years? Longer than that. All right, 15 years you've been on the job, right? Yeah. So you can go in front of the San Diego uh, Courthouse, right over there. You can go over here. Isn't this where the Jan Goldsmith is? Is he still prosecutor? Because I heard he was leaving. Anyways, that's where the prosecutor's office is, right? And the district attorney's office is, right? All right, so check this out. Every time I'm in this area, every time I'm in this area, hey, this is, uh, there's a I'm bunch of homeless people Division over in there with all their belongings and everything Good. sitting on open PEO space. Available or, I, or, is that considered illegal you know, encroachment? Kind of is there a section for uh, people yes. you know, walking standing off there with, public Because I noticed online just today that when the San Diego, the you know the Occupy section? San Diego thing was going on. Is it a vehicle yeah. or a muni okay. You guys went over there and you arrested a bunch of people for illegal encroachment. like a, you know, saving a spot on the public street. All right, so explain the difference between homeless people hanging out with all their belongings which they do, and you know it. Uh, is that illegal in culture? Um, it, is it a very, so we have to go out there and you have to point out once we get a point to you. No okay. PEOs so, uh, what, that? Leslie, real quick, right. what is an address that you're using? Okay, thank you. Uh, I can write it down because I don't want it on video. I don't want it on video because that's, I don't want, I put this online and then they'll start sending me text messages saying, this is how we got your address. Oh, and by the way, they're sending me letters too. Physical letters. You're wearing a hat in your picture? Huh? Um, Okay. Just give me a piece of paper. They're literally sending me physical letters, too. Well, I, you draw attention That's, to yourself. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You know, you guys, you got, you got, you got, you're police officers, so why are you not advocating for a victim yeah, instead of seem to be implying that everything or, I do is wrong? I'm not, no, I, I've listen, seen, I've seen I'm not breaking the, the law in any way, shape, or form. Like putting They're a breaking down the law. on the street to try to save a parking space? What do you want, my address? Yes. Address, uh... Since this is not a valid ID, do you have your social? 
Yeah, but I want this back. That's fine. Uh -huh. Is there a vehicle code or a muni code for that that you know of? Now, is there somewhere you can go and print all those messages out? I don't know. i got to figure that out because with the phone the way it is, I'm afraid to put my phone into any computer monitor or the computer because my phone is hacked, my computer's hacked. You would not believe okay. what I'm putting up. But in order for me to... 92037 is amazing. Just let me uh, finish this. So you don't want to get that out. Well, that's just a zip code. I ain't worried about that. Besides, anyways, they already, and they, in fact, they already know my P.O. Box. They're sending me letters. Oh, well, yeah. I saw one of them asking for it. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan, they're literally, and guess what they're doing? They're using County of Social Services letterheads for it. How do you explain that? I can't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Finish. So this is, this is what I do. Uh, what I do is predict with these little filthy red-ass animals. Excuse my language. These little filthy criminals are gonna do before they do it, and then when they do it, I expose them. Yes. Okay, I'll come up. Okay. All right. If you go into, okay. sounded like somebody just said gang stalk. Okay, that? I'll come up. Okay. I think my video camera did. I'll be right back. Hey, it's uh, Jeff from Northern Division. How you doing? Got a question. Um, Walking off a public street to save a parking space, like home. Is there a muni code or a. Uh, it's actually San Diego, huh? Yeah. La Jolla. San Diego. Um, what is the phone number for you? You're right. Oh, yeah, right, 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 the, the phone that that was on? Oh, just, what, is that still a working? Are you talking about my cell phone? Yeah, is that a working yeah, cell phone? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a working phone. You said your last name Now, don't be tracking it because I already. Uh, uh, I'm not going there. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be below the. Uh, it's gonna be below the uh, uh, social security number. Do you know if there if it is a vehicle code or muni code? I'm sorry, I just need to write, change it over here to this and give it back. All right. You can have it back. So you don't think if I'm calling. If you can't read it clearly, just hand it back to me. I'll write it better. That's good. Okay, so how are we gonna get all those messages off your off your phone? I'll have to probably contact my service provider and ask them how I would do something like that. Because for one, I'm pardon me. For one, I'm learning disabled. Okay, so I got auditorial dyslexia, which means what I hear doesn't register in memory too good. Okay, okay. you understand? So I'll figure it out. But can I get your card? Since oh, you well, I don't have a card, I'll give you my name and stuff like that. But right. like I said, in order for this to go through, we can do it as the annoying, threatening, harassing phone calls. Okay. They're going to need their evidence, which means okay. all those messages we'll printed out. Who's going to see you? The detectives. All right, bye. The Thank detectives. Oh, well, 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 so are they the ones that are like downtown headquarters? Uh, this is technically would be going to the central division, which is means 25th and Imperial. Isn't that the headquarters? No, headquarters well, is the 14th one? and Broadway. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, th that's what we will need for evidence is all those messages. All right. Well, let me ask you a question. Since, uh, like, isn't there, don't people with disabilities, which I do have, it's documented and everything, don't people with disability have certain special rights concerning law enforcement assisting them in reference to um, helping them gather together materials of discovery? In other words, could the detective help me get this off my phone? Because I'm learning disabled, and if I can't figure it out... The there are ways of taking your phone and dumping it, which means they can get all the messages off of there. Uh -huh. But that would be, the detectives would have to know how to do that. Okay, so what, do, what should I do? Well, your, your options are either, who, who, do you know who your phone provider is? My what? Phone provider, it's like AT&T, uh, Verizon? Uh, Virgin. I don't know whether there's one of those around here. Well, uh, all, all we got to do is look it up. But let me ask you a question, though. Uh, let me just move on to another subject matter before I forget it, and then we can get back to this real fast. And I want you to know I do appreciate what you're doing, even though I don't totally agree with the depth of what you're doing, because I think you could be doing a little bit more. But we'll, we'll begin here. Sounds good. All right. The point being is also is this. I sent a bunch of tweets. This, I was so pissed off last week. So I sent a bunch of tweets of indisputable audio and video evidence to Chief Zimmerman. Okay. In these tweets, I predicted, am I going to be arrested for sending this? And 22 hours later, I was able to get my hiking area. Now, I cannot get out of the homelessness that I'm in right now. Now, you, and you say you don't know anything about gang stalking, so you can't refute my following statements. Listen, if you went to Google right now, literally, if you went to Google and typed in gang stalking creating homelessness of targets, you're going to get at least 300,000 responses because they're doing this to people all over the nation. Literally. 
people who don't know each other in any way, shape, or form, who have never communicated with each other in any way, are all saying the same thing. As a result of being a gang stalking victim, they are being they are being evicted cleverly. Their mail's being stolen, rent, everything, in order to create the homelessness to exploit it, to exploit the target, racketeering included, like the RICO Act. This is organized crime. Okay, and they're targeting the vulnerable, people with disability, the elderly, the single women, single mothers. So, I can't get no one to investigate how the homelessness was created, because if I got in a motel room, a apartment tomorrow, whatever, gang stalking targets are gang stalked through their apartment complexes, motel rooms, Google it, and you'll see it's all over the internet. Okay, so, if I can't get no help in reference to what created the homelessness, and the gang stalking, and I go to rent an apartment and magically lose it, especially in a way that I predicted like a nine notaries, which is what happened with my last apartment. What happened in my last apartment was literally predicted to a T in notaries before it occurred. And when you get a notary, it shows the date and time. So, how am I supposed, I'm being arrested for illegal lodging, but yet no one will investigate how the, the homelessness was created to begin with. This is leaving me completely victimized, open to the victimization, and it highly appears that I'm being subject to retaliation. Because what's the likelihood of me being suddenly approached by two San Diego park rangers and three San Diego police officers within 21 hours of me sending gang stalking evidence to the mayor, I mean, to the chief of police? Undeniable evidence. Even some of the text messages I just showed you. And you don't think it happened to be a complete coincidence that you just happened to get It could be, but uh, oh, considering uh, the fact that I predicted five assaults, you know that MTS yeah, assault that I told you about? Yeah. Well, without me giving out too much detail, because I know you're being recorded, because we talked about this the last time you were here, about where you were living and how I how we knew what area you were living in and stuff like that. I do know. Oh, you mean the Gilman address? I wasn't living there at that time you said that. I had already been evicted from it. Yeah, but you were surprised that we knew. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, you yeah, so how did, how did you know? We know everything. That's what we do. So you're saying you share information. We do. Other people, and they share it with you. You know how many times you've come in here and talked to me? <laughs> Talk to me. Finish that question. Answer you, that you, question. You, you, seriously, like, do you, do you really think it's only been three times you've come in here and talked? Look, the point being is this. I'm getting pissed. And that's not a threat. But what I'm saying is this. I'm an extremely intelligent woman. Okay. And I get pissed. Just hear me out. This is not a threat in any way. Trust me. I'm just trying to make a point to you. Whenever I get pushed to a certain point, I can get extremely creative in reference to exposing who's not helping me. Okay? Now, I'm aware of many things, many, many things. <laughs> like the MTS assault video, me being assaulted, being altered by MTS. And that assault was predicted 11 days before it occurred in the email file. Now, what I'm trying to do, okay, is follow protocol in reference to what a crime victim is supposed to do. I'm coming to you with it. How you guys handle it is supposed to be by the letter and by the law. If you're claiming you don't know what gang stalking is, then it isn't your responsibility to research it. Cross-reference the evidence I gave you to it in order to conclude that it is a factual crime. It's even been covered on the news. Multiple times it's been covered all over the news in many states. I've literally been on national radio shows talking about how I've been a victim of this crime. So, what do you want me to do concerning this phone thing? We'll start there. So that, that block well, if, if uh, Virgin space, Mobile or whatever was somewhere nearby, I would recommend that you go so over there and try to see if they had a way to dump all your text messages. I don't trust anybody, but I'm not, I, I don't want to... Tra tra the, only, the only other place is, like I said, I, I know our detectives do it for certain cases. They might be able to do it for this, where they plug in your phone and take but all your text messages off your phone and have them in a printout form so they have how the message And what if he do. says no? Why would he Why would he say no is the question. That maybe, maybe it doesn't meet the requirements. I don't know what the requirements are on their end. I see, because I can always look it up on the internet. What is a criminal threat? Is it a misdemeanor or is it a felony? What type of threat is considered a misdemeanor or a felony? Okay, basically oh. you have two things. One, if you have a credible threat or a... And yeah, you roll your eyes, but you're, you're showing me threats that happen. We'll kill you. We'll kill you, bitch. Okay, okay come Let's on. See. We'll come and rape you. See, this is when you interrupt me and you're not listening. Well, you said okay. something. You're talking about, a, a, you're making this sound like this is the most credible threat ever, but it's from what year? This was from last year. So, in, in the last eight okay. months, no person shall place nothing has been happened or furthered because of those messages. Of so yes, there has. So yes, there has. Yes, there has. Let me use Mark. I got to so interject something just okay. to, to prove you wrong. Know, but have you been killed? <laughs> no, I'm still here. Have you been raped? Not yet. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is those messages are minimum. The, 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 the most recent message was so from December of 2014. Did you look at the pornography one? No. Okay, so. But that's, that's, not, a, that's not a threat. Isn't sending a pornography on somebody's it's, it's, phone? It's not a threat. 
Right. So, what what, what, so what I'm telling you is this. In order for it to be the felony section, there has to be a credible threat. Okay. Does that end? You might not agree with that. Of course I don't. So the best thing you have right here is threatening and annoying phone calls. All right, let me ask you a question. Okay. Are you, are you, does, does, first of all, does that make sense before we move on? Not necessarily, but just I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. So, like right now, I know you have a knife in your right pocket. Yeah. If you told this, if you told this gentleman right here that you were going to stab him, one, you guys are right here. You have the ability to do so since you guys are both right here, and, and you're armed with a weapon that... It's legal though. I, I'm not worried it's about below that. below three inches. But what I'm trying to say is, I mean, like I you have the ability like to, you're armed and have the chance to, and you're both here in the same location. So right now, if you told this gentleman that you were going to stab him and kill him, do you have the physical ability to do so? And yes, you do. You're right here, you have the knife, and you can take care of that action. People are sending you messages from who knows where. I don't know where this area code comes from. It might be local, it doesn't really matter. People can still, well, people can still travel to San Diego and have a, a Okay. Two, 200 ID you per, uh, you live here in San Diego? so they could still be local with an out of state phone but those messages are they weren't out of state they could be local I, I'm, I'm, 619 I'm, is local so was 858 oh, okay the one you showed me was okay now one of them being the okay yeah, that was one of three there's okay. three different numbers sending them okay we didn't show me every message but I did too I, I, but I told you the 619 hey, but let's see I'm not disagreeing with you okay. even if it was 619 when it becomes out of question nobody has done anything about those messages in nine months like the police when I came here and told I told Leslie, you guys are listening? it kind of kind of takes away the steam now if the message was sent to you this morning and they said that they're going to see you later tonight at blah 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 camp and they know everywhere you're staying yeah it's, it makes it a little bit more credible but you just got them being on a, tw a text message that said me saying just hear me out on this one okay okay that text message that, okay i hear what you're saying that has been sent a while ago okay but listen to this how can i hear at a hiking location people go by and say gang stalk why don't you call the cops and get her out of here at 9 08 a.m then at 4 12 p.m they send me a text message literally regurgitating what i heard how can that be possible? I don't, it shows. I, I don't know. It shows that what I what I heard and tweeted about was true, which shows that they were, were also that they sent the threat that they sent the threat, prop people up at that location, Rose Canyon, to say that threat, and then followed through on it to mentally harass me about it with a text message on the same day. Who's they? Yeah. The phone number dictates who they are. But who are they? I don't know. And why don't you just people I don't know. So people don't have your number. But I even I even sent them a text message saying, "How did you get my phone number?" They said they got it off a video of me being at the post office. Bullshit! I never gave my video. Every time I went to the post office to get my phone one, number. One thing that you gotta understand. I wrote it down. Today, Remember your thanks don't. You don't I, I know, but I wrote with, it down. With today's technology, people can find out email addresses, text numbers, phone numbers. I agree IP with that. Address, all that nine, all that stuff. Let's see your address is showing on your camera. Oh, so if if you get hold of your. You don't even know you, it. You were trying to hide. Like, you're trying to hide it from them. This is what you can do. You can get hold of your. Carry your carrier and tell them you're getting all these these weird numbers that you don't know of. Let me finish. Right. And can you please change my number? They will do a courtesy change for you without any charge because I did that with mine. I was getting these funny text messages. I called my carrier and said, I am getting these numbers. Can you please change it? They do a one time courtesy shot and they change my number. Problem solved. All right, sir, but the point I've already considered that. I really honestly have. Well, if you do that, you won't get any more. Exactly. Well, from hopefully. two years ago. You'll take care of the problem today. Okay. I understand that, but think about this. I was thinking about that. Okay, but here, check me. The reason why I haven't done it in part is this. If I change phone numbers, those text messages will disappear because they're dedicated to that number. No, well, they're, up, they're on your phone. They'll be in the phone. They're a, they're a permanent record on yeah, it. Yeah, you delete them. Yeah, your phone doesn't get wiped out with them. Just you, the you'll, you'll still have them on your phone. Good. Yeah, but how'd they get the number to begin with? That's the thing. Anybody, oh, you said, any, yeah. Anybody well, how, did I, how did I know you lived off of Gilman? You could Google it. I'll find yeah. on Google. And, and how did I know you lived off of Gilman? All the conversations. Oh. You, do you really not remember talking to me more than... Look, am I going to be arrested again for illegal lodging? I want to know right now because I'm sick of living in fear hey, about this. When you I'm really sick of it. When you illegal lodge? Yeah, you have that opposite. Let me, let me ask you a question. Lodging. The other day when the San Diego Park Rangers were in my... I, I have no idea what the Park Rangers oh, do. Let me just finish. Okay, I'm going to tell you the same answer at the very end. I have no idea what the Park Rangers do. Listen to what I've got to say. Okay. When the San Diego Park Rangers came and I told them that I was homeless because of gang stalking, which I am, and I can prove it, I still got the return receipt of the United States Postal Service money order that was sent of my rent, okay, that was stolen out of the mail, I still got it in my person. Now, I followed and tracked and confirmed that return the return receipt attached to the money order, okay? 
for 11 months. It still hadn't been delivered. 11 months. Then the, the property owner wanted me to pay that run again, and next month. That's civil. That's a civil issue. Absolutely, but it still created the homelessness. Well, that's, okay. that's a civil issue you need to take up with that. Exactly. I, I understand that part, sir. I really what do. Is it we it can was do actually. For you? Well, but federal, that's federal though, when you steal and something out of the mail. The, the post office has their own investigation, investigative unit that does federal crime with the mail. You could call them and talk to their, the mail postmaster and they direct you to that direction. Every time before I attend, like I look up lawyers online, mm -hmm. okay? I look up lawyers online, within three, four days, I'm arrested or assaulted. Now, this is becoming a pattern. It's happened four times. What are you times. arrested for? Or, or ticketed for legal lodging. Are you legal lodging? I'm illegal lodging because I'm homeless because the gang stalking created it. No police will then, investigate then the gang stalking, yeah, so I remain homeless. We probably need to look at either getting some resources from our hot team or St. Vicious of Paul's shelter, so you won't be illegal lodging and you won't I'm going to consider that, but li listen to so you're, you're considering that, you're considering yeah. the phone. You're, don't consider, do it. Because if you do There's it, There's only phone, 24 stop. hours in one day. you got to remember. Look, just hear me out. Do you have any idea what it's like to be homeless? I mean, you got to well, go to the no, grocery store every day because you don't have a refrigerator to put no. your food in. Yeah. you got to go to the bathroom. Start if you start off, if you start off at the starting line and then get to the finish line in steps, you got to crawl before you walk. I you'll, you'll, you'll I, solve your problem. Absolutely, but every time I go to begin to try and do something, a new thing happens well, to me. Let's start this. Call your phone, your phone carrier, and say, "I'm getting these calls. Can you please change my number?" Uh, I'll consider that after well, a detective looked at my when phone. Well, you can do that. What are you going to do about this? Thing? Thank you. What are you going to do about this detective thing? Because I'm going to tell you something right now. I do not trust my phone with any cell phone provider. But before you answer that, listen to this. The San Diego Park Ranger said, why don't you go to a woman's shelter? I said, well, I'll consider it. After he left, I Googled women's shelters and gang stalking and got over 3 million responses. Well, by the way, just type in women's shelter, not women's shelter gang stalking. Because I want to know where I'm going to see. I'm a woman. It's my right to, you know, feel okay. safe, right? Okay. It's anybody's right to feel safe. Absolutely. But you gotta, you can't affiliate shelter and gang stalking to every shelter you come across. Yeah, you might as well type in women's shelter and murder and find out how many murders happen in women's shelters all over out. the world. And you're like, you'll never go to them. Give me a detective's name and I'll walk out of here. I would have no idea. I, what do I got to do then? What do I got to do now? What do I got to do next? You start off with the phone carrier and change your number. I don't want to do that because well, I am. Well, then you're going to continue to get these texts that you But you just said I didn't get one for two years. Do you have the other phone yeah. number? You told me it happened in 2000. What, what other phone number? Well, you your want? phone so I can get those other phone numbers that have been sending you messages. Oh, you mean the two other ones? Yeah. And what about the one that said. Uh, thank you. I do Cause, appreciate cause, your cause question. This is the only I really one, do. This is the only one I've written down so Okay, far. but check this out. You know how they said that the last one was sent like a year ago or 11 months ago or whatever? The one that sent me the pronouncement. Photography is is putting recent comments on my YouTube videos under the same name. Well, people can reply to YouTube videos. Right? I know, but it's the same name. It's public, right? But yeah. it's still stalking. But it's it's not stalking. It's not stalking. I'm, I'm gonna research well, everything well, you're saying. Just, just so you know, <laughs> stalking. What what you're saying? Just because people put comments on your pages does not constitute stalking. People are allowed to. You get you put on all those videos on YouTube so you can get responses. You just don't, aren't getting the ones you like. You guys know that this is a crime. Yeah, but it's not stalking. Well, what is it then? Harassment? Um, it's a reply on, to a you, public on YouTube, it's nothing. Yeah. The ones on your phone, the best you can get is the annoying or threatening phone calls. Yeah, but you're, I know you're going to say gang stalking's involved because they're literally involving gang stalking I, in it. <laughs> yeah, but. I, they literally are, and you know it. Don't lie. Come on. But, I mean, not lie, but I'm. But, but, you, but you have to understand something. I'm like, maybe that's a term that's used in maybe in another state, and maybe it is used here. I've never heard of it. Santa you, Cruz police were on TV reporting it. You are the only person that's ever mentioned that term to me. How long have you been working for the SDPD? A long time. What about you? 13 years. And you haven't heard of it either? Nope. Y'all be tripping me out. All right, so check it out. I'm going to bring him up right now. Go ahead and put my. Do you want me to show you them now or you want to look for them? Uh, you can just bring up the ones that are apply. I don't want to be going through your other text messages. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, uh, do you want the one that sent me to pornography to you? Uh, I don't know, even know if there's a phone number attached to that. They're also, they're also have sent me, they're also calling me and not sending no text messages. Okay, so, and, all right, so here we go. All right, now the first one, there's actually four numbers here. All right, so here's one of them, 619. Well, let me, I got those. All right, look at, look at them. Uh, the, the one, the 619 and the one above it, there's two different numbers. I think there's four. Oh, by the way, let me ask you a question. 
Do you know what they're doing that construction about a block and a half away? For the uh, new courthouse? Is, it, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. The one that's behind the courthouse? <laughs> Big old steel beam. Right. Yep. All right, well, for like the longest time, they had where you could, if you're on this side of the street, they had a little fenced in thing where you can go through, walk like the through. The walkway? Yeah, the walkway. Mm -hmm. Well, they closed that and then opened up the sidewalk across the street, but they didn't put no sign that it's closed. Okay. I felt that. Screwed up my arm. Screwed, you you guys, see my leg right now. Okay. And my well, elbow. So you guys might want to put a sign up saying you got to give right. the other well, side. Well, that's not us. I'm that's just saying, let them know. That's all civil. That's all civil. It's not. A, it has nothing to do with us. If they have, Thanks, a, guys. If we'll they see have you later. Uh, yeah. some kind of permit to work on that property, and they need to put up, say, might want to call OSHA, might want to call somebody that has to do with their construction, but it has nothing to do with SDP. Hey, check out what we're having in my leg. Is, is this a picture or a, the, the message? Where'd you get that from? This is the one you brought up for me. All right, is, hold on. is that a text message? Is that a text message? No, that's that. Yeah, that's it. Or, or, if you or, or can or click on it and the details come up, that means it's a text message. Okay. Oh, cool. Thanks, bro. I put them in the Is it? How do you scroll up to the next tweet? Thank you. Okay, well, here, let me see, because that might only be that I might, that might only be all the text messages for that day. So that was the only text message that they sent me on that day. So what you want to do is hit the back button, uh -huh. and that will bring you to the next one. Oh, no, they Okay. So that, well, that one was this one. Okay. So I'm going to go back. So, so there's no more messages from that number? No, there are more messages from that number. They're just above. And oh, they're dates. actually separated by dates? Yeah, they're separated oh, by right. dates. Okay, so this is another one from the 702 number. I don't have that one. They're just saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. People I don't know. Okay. Right. Well, that's not a threat, so. Yeah. But I think that they also, this number also sent me some other, excuse me, please, some other harassing uh, text messages. Yeah, now, okay. this right well, here, these right here are, are the pornography ones. ones. So. Okay, so I don't know if you get anything from that. Uh, you probably know the apartments by that. Now, this is what is oh, need, yeah. you need to pay attention to this. Do you see how Jonathan is mentioned? Yes, exactly. Okay. Jonathan is yeah, the name of the person that sent me the physical letters. Oh, wow. Okay. Physical letters? Yeah, I got physical letters. They sent three physical oh, letters to my P.O. box. Yeah, no. um, but he says it's, it's, it's stamped yeah, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, I, got, I got them in my back. Right. So, so, bring me up this other one. The ones that had the uh, messages that you didn't like. All right. All right. Here's one where it says, we'll kill and rape you. Now, this is a long, a long, Look at all of them. Okay, okay so look that's at all that, of them. now is that all the same date? Uh, no, different dates. Okay, let me see that one. All right, I clicked on it. There's a the number right Back there. Back when uh, Highland was accusing oh, I know. They, they have all the all same. Right. Right. Yeah, you should be able to park up there. Hey, can you guys get a hold of the Salvation Team from here? And all of the low rise. Uh, we can try calling them. It's right at the end of the day, so it's. It's only 1 30. Now you can. Oh, yeah. They might be out here. I'm glad I got out of those apartments. They're not as bad anymore. But back when I was younger, yeah. it was pretty bad. And that's not including five assaults. Yeah, I've been assaulted five way. times. Yeah. By who? By people, like people I don't know, just like I don't know these people. Sometimes it's okay. generations. Yeah. You know, they don't, right. There's nothing to break that cycle until that one person realizes it. Yeah. You know, oh, there's a bunch cycle, of different dates. They, they were sent, oh my God, you would not believe the things that. Yeah. 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 I, how did they get my phone number? How did they get my P.O. box? Every time I had made any video inside the uh, post office, when the lady asked me for any information, I wrote it down for her just like I wrote it down to you. So how did they the one, even the get my in, phone number? The one in La Jolla? Something? Yeah, yeah. It does, man. They're crazy. And then you think about it and you... And the things that there's the the theme of the text messages they're 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 sending me is is uh, the theme of what I've been stating is happening to me on my tape recorder all the way back to 2012. And let me uh, ask him a question. Can I ask you a question, real fast? Sure. Do you know what the laws are concerning uh, BB pellet guns? Well, what is it you want to know? Is it illegal to have one? It's well, there, there is a law to have if you have a replica handgun, anything from the airsoft guns to like even a BB gun. I mean, if you're discharging it too, you, you, you got to do it like at a private property or a range or somewhere that doesn't Right, but being in possession of it or having it hidden somewhere. Well, there is, like I said, there is a, I want to say it's a penal code. 
if you're displaying it in a in a manner no or no no threatening manner. I'm, I'm not i'm not that dumb trust me I'm, I'm not giving nobody no hooks to arrest me for anything oh well, if you're carrying one no I, not I at all i, I bought it hit it that's it oh uh, yeah i wouldn't advise it because you know the thing is no one's gonna know it's if a, it's real or not real until absolutely when the police came out to my hiking area two days ago i flat out right away told michael look i got a knife in my pocket i got maze what do you want me to do with it do you want me to take it out or do you want to take it out it's best to be uh, open about it. No, you gotta you be know, smart about it. You want no surprises, yeah. Absolutely. Some of these comments aren't very late, like, listen, I'm just gonna tell you that now. Hey, look, if you. <laughs> Do you expect me to be nice to people that are doing this to me? I can be very mean if I have to be. If it's in a sheet, you're okay. Oh, okay. Being a long shirt doesn't mean it. Yeah. It's all about getting up in their heads like they're trying to get up in mine. If it's in a sheet, but if you have the sheet that it's tucked in your pants, if it's hanging out on your pants like that, it's outside and still visible. But, you know, if you ever get stopped, hey, I do have a knife on the sheet on my right side. Hey. And then just for safety. Now, when I got assaulted on that MTS bus, okay, I told that police officer that the guy that had, had, had assaulted me was engaging in physical gestures, gang signals, right? I'll tell him since you're busy. Um, it depends if it, if it falls under like, like a sap. You know what a sap is? It's like a leather thing with metal plates. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like this long.